So what we're going to do is underneath our product here under our um, site API auto map is we're going to say, hey, want custom attributes. Attributes like so. And this is a dictionary as well or a JSON field. Now we want to say our type and this is what we're expecting. So this is why I put integer into my item because this is an integer. It's a whole number figure of a uh, boost number. And then we can give it the description. Now this is basically prompting so you might need to you know, mess around and figure out what, what's the best for you and what works. Um, I think I only went through a couple of iterations for this uh, and I think it's just like the megahertz of uh, the megahertz boost figure of the product. And this seemed pretty reliable to me. And that's it. That's all we need to do. The only thing that's going to change though is that where this information comes back in the response. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this for a second here and we're going to comment this out and this out and we are going to print the raw response like so. What this is, is I should have specified the name of the field right first because without this it doesn't know how to return what you're asking for right so this is why i missed out like so and this should be indented in fact we can run so what we've got is an, at the end of our response from the api we have our custom attributes here and it gives us the field name that we specified, which I missed the first time, which is why I complained, because it's like, how, where do you want me to give you this information? You missed it. And then the number. Now I asked for an integer, which is why it's an integer there. 